Hi and welcome to the third video of the Clarity PPM Getting Started series. I'm Katherine Ellis, a Product Manager with Clarity PPM. In our previous video, we saw how you can use custom investments to create a strategic plan and objectives to help you transform your organization. In this video, we will focus on how you can use roadmaps to present the strategy and investments to an executive team and finalize which investments can be part of the final plan. Let's start by logging into Clarity PPM, navigating to the Roadmaps page, and creating a new roadmap. Let's give it a name and set it up for the upcoming year. Roadmaps are fiscal time period aware, so you are not forced to using calendar periods. We can now see the timeline layout for roadmaps. This layout helps stakeholders and teams visualize and model work. Let's add a description for this roadmap. Every roadmap includes items that you want to plan during the roadmap's timeline. As we discussed previously, we can add roadmap items based on current work, customer needs, and strategy. Because we are currently focusing on the organizational strategy, let's add investment items associated with our core strategy to the roadmap. If you were creating a roadmap to plan out your upcoming year, you could also add current work and upcoming investments based on customer needs. You can also add roadmap items by using the plus icon or by importing them from a CSV file. Let's view the investment items by months to visualize the release timeline. We can also use the swim lanes option to group the roadmap items in horizontal lanes. Because we want to view the investment items based on their strategy, let's use strategy to create the swim lanes. Let's use the color by option to color roadmap items based on their strategy. In case your stakeholders prefer a Kanban style view to sort investments in different categories, you can use the board layout. Ensure that you select Strategy in the Columns and Color By options to view a board where each strategy is a column on the board. You can also create custom pick lists based on your own criteria, such as market maturity or demand, to help you prioritize roadmap items by using the board layout. Finally, let's learn how to create a detailed plan based on your financial and capacity targets by using the grid layout. Let's add the financial fields to the grid to review the financials associated with each investment. Let's display the financial expenses month over month for each objective. The executive team can now see a detailed breakdown of the planned expense for each objective. We can save this view and pull it up when we present the roadmap to the executive team. We can also add the total cost as a target and enter the estimated budget that was provided by the executive team. When you present the plan to the executive team, you can use the in-plan option to figure out the impact of adding or removing an investment to the total cost. This is very helpful in scenarios where stakeholders believe that all objectives are equally important, but you have limited budget and limited time. You can also plan for multiple scenarios to figure out how you can get maximum value for their investment. Hence, you can save your current plan as an initial scenario and mark it as a baseline so that you can compare the changes made in future iterations. I am sure you now understand how you can use roadmaps to present the strategy and investments to the executive team and finalize which investments can be part of the final plan. Thank you for watching this video. In the next video, I will help you understand how you can submit and evaluate ideas by using a customizable Lean Canvas approach in Clarity PPM. For more detailed information about this product, click the information bubble in the top right corner to load the product page.